What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Summer and today I'm going to take you through my day, what I do for fat loss, what I do for my workouts, what I eat for my day, and I hope you guys enjoy. So today is Saturday. It is July 7th and it's 6.44 in the morning. So I have to coach three classes. So I got here at 6.30, set everything up for class looking at making sure I know exactly what I'm doing for the classes. And then after class, when I'm done coaching, I'm going to do the workout. I will clean up, head home, have my main breakfast. So it'll be like a late breakfast, basically lunch, but it'll be my main food source for the morning. And I have two snacks with me, I'll show you. So I have a grapefruit that I will snack on within the next three hours-ish. And then also an RX bar that I will snack on. So those two things I am relying on for energy for my workout here at about 10.30, so here in a few hours. And when I get home, I'll have my main food source and I will catch you guys here soon. Pass me by Taking the time is always hard to find I can't be sleepless every night It's looking like dreams only dance behind my eyes Is it all in my head? I've been feeling delusional well, There must be something I can do Should I start again with nothing to lose at all? Somehow I'm falling back to you
11.39 and I'm getting gas. I'm so sweaty. I just finished working out. I'm on my way home. It's so hot here in Arizona. So I just, I can't really cool down. But I'm getting gas right now, which that's crazy expensive. I drove past the Dunkin' Donuts, which I want Dunkin' Donuts very, very much so. Um, I don't know why I've just been having cravings lately. I'm still sticking on eating healthy. I ate those snacks at work. I'm going to go home and have my yogurt that I always have every morning with granola and fruit and honey. And then, yeah, I will show you what I have and when I get home. All right, guys. So here is what we're working with. I didn't have granola done when I got home so I've had to wait and that is why I ate that snack with the rice cake, the almond butter, and the honey. So currently I have some granola in here to cool off because I just made that and then I'll be able to make all this goodness. We have raspberries, blueberries, 5% five, 5 honey, and a bowl. <laughs> hey guys, I just got done eating and then I had my apple cider vinegar, which if you haven't seen my apple cider vinegar recipe thing, I will link it above and I've just been doing that. It's been helping with my digestion. I've still been having a little bit of problems with it. Not as bad as I was um, but it's just helping me kind of um, it's just been helping me with bloating as well as I feel like keeping my bowel movements going I'm at least a little bit more productive than they were with that being said um, I had a low weigh-in last Sunday so almost a week ago of 153 this morning I weighed 150 four or five I'll you guys have already seen how much I weigh I'll pop it on the screen but with that being said um I have still been feeling like I've been bloated and haven't gone to the bathroom all the way the past few days but I went to the bathroom this morning right after I weighed myself because Saturdays I don't have to get up as early to open at work so I was able to weigh myself and get like a rough estimate for you guys but I will put in this um, video how much I weigh tomorrow um, to get a better, you know, reference of where I'm at with finishing up this 40 day challenge for me because on Friday I'm going on my vacation. So um, what is that? Tomorrow's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, five days basically because on Friday will be six days and that's when I'm going on vacation. So I'll keep you guys posted on everything, but just to keep you guys up to date, I've still been um, working out five times a week. I've been doing about two to three of my circuit training workouts, which you guys saw what they kind of look like. Um, today was more cardio based, but that's just how I kind of rotate through class. And you guys got to see that today. And then I tried to incorporate at least two, sometimes three, like weight lifting workouts at my apartment gym, which you guys have seen like some of the workouts I do there, it's just like strength, normal bodybuilding training. And sometimes I'll add in a little bit of cardio, just depending on how much circuit training I've done that week. So um, I plan on working out tomorrow all the way through Thursday, just because I know I'm not gonna work out Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe Monday, I'm not really sure yet, just because I'll be on vacation. Um, so I'm going to work out tomorrow. I worked out today, I've been working out five to six times a week like I mentioned and then I've been getting 10,000 steps at least five times a week um, but I've been exceeding that I mean today is Saturday and I'm already at 14,000 steps and it's only two o'clock so um, I've just I've just been being more active working out more I haven't had any processed food um, since I started this challenge aside from you know if I have my rice cakes or my honey or yogurt but with those processed foods, I always read the ingredients and there's not anything in them that has like preservatives or chemicals or everything. So I want to show you guys my dinner tonight. We're going to go to church tonight and then I'll go to go. I'll go to Whole Foods to go grocery shopping, have my dinner there. And I just get like a veggie rice bowl with chicken and then I will weigh in tomorrow, give you guys a physique update. But um, I hope you guys have a good weekend and I will catch you in my next video.
guys, today is Sunday and I gave you guys a physique update, which is what you guys already saw. I weigh 154 pounds today, which I'm pretty content with. I did eat out yesterday at Whole Foods. I showed you guys a picture of that. I eat that every Saturday night, but sometimes I do hang on to a little bit of water just depending on like my whole week of eating and everything. But what I did want to talk about is I have five days left of doing this. Now, basically all I've done this whole 35 days up to 40 days and here in a few days is just um, eat healthier, challenge myself to not eat as much, to eat just normal portion sizes, not eating processed foods. Because for me, I was barely eating processed foods, so all I needed to do was just cut them out a little bit to improve my physique, right? You just have to take baby steps. So cutting processed foods out for me was realistic because I wasn't really eating a whole lot of them. Um, not eating as much, eating till I'm full because I know that I tend to just keep like picking like a bird at my food even when I'm not full. So stop when I'm full. Be more active, which is why I have my 10,000 steps in place, which I definitely am doing and I'm making that a goal. And then being more consistent with working out because I knew that for me, I was working out, but I wasn't being consistent. So setting these small goals were realistic for me and they were allowing me to improve my body to where now I'm sitting at 153 to 154 pounds, which seems to be where my body just naturally wants to sit at. Now, after this 40 days, I'll decide what I want to do if I want to keep doing what I'm doing and maybe cut more food or eat more food and try to gain muscle. I'll definitely keep you guys on the loop with within the loop for that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything. This week, I had more cravings than anything. I mean, I dream about eating processed food sometimes, but I haven't caved. I've done really well. I think I did pick at food a little bit more this week. Like, you know, I would bake sweet potatoes, eat my dinner, and then I would pick at the food while I was cleaning up. So I definitely think I could have done better on that. Um, just to update you guys, I definitely have not been stretching as much as I wanted to, but I'm gonna challenge myself this week to continue to stretch pre and post workout and just not to snack as much or not to pick at my food as much even though I know that I'm full because that is just extra calories that I know I don't need. Um, so that's really all that I've been struggling with. I'm about to go work out right now. I'm going to do some legs and core and cardio. I'll probably be at my apartment gym for like a little over an hour but yeah I just wanted to keep you guys posted. I'll definitely let you guys know how the next few days goes and I'll give you guys a end physique update but I'm really proud of where I'm at right now and I hope you guys are doing well too but just make those little baby changes I always say that in these videos and you'll definitely be able to feel slash see improvements so thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel give this video a like and I'll catch you in my next video